गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ विकास तिवारी पी जी टी बायोलॉजी फ्रॉम पी जी सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल आई एम यर विथ माई नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फॉर क्लास टेंथ दैट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन ह्यूमन बींग्स सो हियर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इन ह्यूमन बींग्स बिकॉज इन ह्यूमन बींग्स अ वेल डेवलप सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज प्रजेंट एंड दैट सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम वन पार्ट टू अदर पार्ट बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स नो एनी स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम इज प्रजेंट फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम वन पार्ट टू अदर पार्ट वाटर इज लाइक अ मीडियम फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम वन पार्ट टू अदर पार्ट स्पेशली इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड two complex tissues are responsible for conduction of water as well as food material in plants so the process of transportation in plants is very easy than human beings because in human beings a complex circulatory system is present and that circulatory system is responsible for transportation of substances foods carbon dioxide from one body parts to other especially in human beings blood is responsible for transportation of food material carbon dioxide and nitrogenous gas from one part to other part what is blood so blood is a type of fluid connective tissue it is a type of fluid connective tissue because it is present in the form of fluid and connected to the all body parts so blood is like a medium for transportation of substances from one body parts to other body parts especially carbon dioxide nitrogenous waste food material dissolved in blood and through blood they are conducted from uh one part to other part while oxygen is also transported through blood corpuscles like rbc that is red blood corpuscle blood consist of plasma blood consist of plasma and corpuscles and corpuscles in case of plasma there are 50% part of blood plasma and 45% of blood is corpuscles plasma is responsible for transportation of food carbon dioxide and nitrogenous waste and nitrogenous waste from one part to other part while other substances like salts also conducted through blood from one part to other part in 45% there are three types of corpuscles are present that is rbcs wbcs and platelets and platelets the second name of rbc is erythrocytes erythrocytes second name of wbcs leukocytes leukocytes and the second name of platelets is thrombocytes thrombocytes so rbc means red blood corpuscles are red blood cells wbcs means white blood corpuscles are white blood cells white platelets so the second name of platelets is thrombocytes so there are three types of corpuscles are present that is a type of living cell rbc wbc and platelets and their functions are different in blood the study about blood is called hematology hematology so hematology is a branch of science which deals about the study of blood and due to the absence of blood or disorder of blood there are many type of diseases are occur in case of body that is especially sickle cell anemia leukemia 
hemophilia so hematology deals with about the study of blood and blood related diseases so in case of carpuscles there are three types first number is erythrocyte that is rbcs leukocytes wbcs and thrombocytes that is platelets so in case of erythrocytes that is rbc the process of formation of erythrocytes are called erythropoiesis so erythropoiesis is the process of formation of erythrocytes and in our body bone marrow is responsible for bone marrow is responsible for production of erythrocytes are rbcs means rbcs are erythrocytes are produced by bone marrow bone marrow is especially present inside the hollow space of our bone and bone marrow is responsible for production of rbc and many type of lymphocytes especially b lymphocytes t lymphocytes in our body and 100 ml of blood uh, in case of human being contain 15 g hemoglobin in case of male and 13 g in case of female what is hemoglobin and their function hemoglobin is responsible for red color of blood hemoglobin is responsible for red color of blood it is made up of heme pigment heme pigment and globin protein it is made up of heme pigment and globin pr protein heme is a iron containing pigment heme is a iron containing pigment while globin is a type of protein so due to the iron due to the presence of iron heme is responsible for red color of blood so the color of blood means that is red color only due to the presence of hemoglobin and second main function of hemoglobin is a, it is like a carrier it is like a carrier for the transportation of carrier for the transportation of oxygen oxygen from lungs to other body parts from lungs to other body parts means hemoglobin temporarily combine with oxygen hemoglobin temporarily combine with oxygen and form and form oxyhemoglobin and form oxy hemoglobin means oxygen is temporarily combined with hemoglobin and after that hemoglobin carry oxygen from lungs to body parts so hemoglobin temporarily combined with oxygen and form oxy hemoglobin it's mean that hemoglobin is responsible for transportation of oxygen from lungs to other body parts while carbon dioxide transported through blood in dissolved form so in case of erythrocytes hemoglobin is responsible for red color of blood due to the presence of heme pigment that is a iron containing pigment while in case of pila there are hemocyanin is present hemocyanin so here heme is copper contain heme contain copper so due to the copper containing heme in pila hemocyanin is responsible for blue color while in case of human being the color of blood is red due to the presence of heme pigment that is iron containing and the life span of erythrocyte rbc is 120 days this is very important what is the life span of rbc so life span of rbc is 120 days some points are given here that is very important for your competitive examination as well as board examination that is hemolysis 
एनेमिया जॉन्डिस पालीसाइथेमिया एंड एरिथ्रोसाइटोपिनिया एंड एरिथ्रोपोएटिन सो इन केस ऑफ हिमोलिसिस व्हाट इज हिमोलिसिस डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ आरबीसीएस विथ रिलीज ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन इनटू प्लाज्मा एंड इट रिजल्ट्स इन जॉन्डिस एंड नेक्स्ट एनेमिया सो डिक्रीज इन द अमाउंट ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन डिक्रीज इन द अमाउंट ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन कॉज्ड anemia disease next is polycythemia what is polycythemia an abnormal rise in rbc count is polycythemia and in erythrocytopenia decrease in the number of rbcs so decrease in the number of rbcs caused erythrocytopenia erythropoietin this is very important what is erythropoietin so erythropoietin is a type of hormone because in the less number of rbc there are the shortage of oxygen to muscle and tissue and shortage of oxygen stimulate kidney cells to secrete a special type of hormone that is erythropoietin and that erythropoietin hormone stimulates bone marrow to increase the production of rbc to fulfill the shortage of oxygen because we already know that the rbc is responsible for transportation of oxygen so less number of rbc uh, caused shortage of oxygen into muscle and tissue so erythropoietin hormone stimulate bone marrow to increase the production of rbc next thing in the trans uh, circulatory system of human being blood lymph blood vessels and a pumping organ heart is responsible so our circulatory system consist of blood lymph blood vessels in blood vessels especially arteries veins capillaries and a pumping organ that is heart so we will also discuss about uh, blood vessels lymph and heart in this heading so second number is leukocytes that is wbcs white blood corpuscles white blood corpuscles is uh, a colorless corpuscles because there are no any type of pigments are present in wbcs so it is colorless and not responsible for any type of color in blood and the life span of wbcs are few days or months or even years wbcs also known as soldiers of body because it maintains the immune system and also fight against the pathogens pathogens be disease causing agents so leukocytes maintain the immune system and protect our body from foreign uh, pathogens which cause different many type of diseases in our body so it is called soldiers of our body in case of leukocytes this varies from 5000 to 10000 per cubic millimeter of blood in human means their number in case of per cubic millimeter in human blood are 5000 to 1000 tlc tlc means total leukocyte count the number of leukocytes per microliter of blood is called tlc and low tlc so symptom of means low tlc means total leukocyte count so many type of symptoms of uh, viral fever malaria typhoid or tuberculosis and one thing is there that is leukopenia leukopenia means fall in wbc count if wbc count are fall so that cause a disease and that disease is leukopenia a life span of wbcs are few days or months or even years now about types of leukocytes so there are two types of leukocytes 
agranulocytes and granulocytes so in case of agranulocytes there are two types that is the lymphocytes and monocytes and monocytes are the largest leukocytes while in case of granulocytes there are three types that is the eosinophils basophils and neutrophils so in case of leukocyte there are two types agranulocytes and granulocytes and in case of agranulocytes there are two types that is lymphocytes and monocytes and in case of granulocytes eosinophils basophils and neutrophils now about thrombocytes now in case of carpuscles third number is platelets that is thrombocytes so the main function of thrombocytes in the clotting of blood so during bleeding time thrombocytes and prothrombin helps in the clotting of blood and it is also colorless because there are no any type of pigment present in case of thrombocyte so it is colorless and the life span is about a week so the life span of uh, thrombocytes are six to eight days and it helps in the clotting of blood on the time of injury means it stops the bleeding on the time of any type of injury the thrombocytes are fewer than rbcs and more than wbcs in number and their total number in a cubic millimeter of blood are 250000 and there are two points are given on board that is thrombocytosis and thrombocytopenia so what is thrombocytosis so when the number of platelets increase when the number of platelets increase in body so that is called thrombocytosis and when the number of platelets decrease that is thrombocytopenia so when the number of platelet decrease so that cause thrombocytopenia and when the number of platelets increase so that is thrombocytosis except then blood another fluid that is a colorless fluid that is similar to plasma is also present in our body and that fluid is called middleman of the body that is lymph so lymph is similar to plasma because in case of lymph no any rbcs are present means rbc absent in case of lymph so it is colorless and similar to plasma lymph is also called tissue fluid the fluid which is present in tissue so especially some lymphoid organs are present in our body and that lymphoid organs secrete lymph because blood is produced by bone marrow while the limbs are not produced by bone marrow so it is similar to the plasma of blood but colorless because no any rbc is present in case of limb the organs which secrete limb are called lymphoid organs so there are many type of lymphoid organs are present in our body especially lymph nodes tonsils thymus gland and spleen thymus gland is a type of endocrine gland present in our chest and responsible for the secretion of lymph and t lymphocytes and it secretes also some special type of hormone like thymosine and spleen is known as graveyard of rbc and blood bank of our body spleen is the largest mass of lymphatic tissue in the body and graveyard of rbc and also known as blood bank of our body so lymph is another fluid which is also responsible for transportation of uh, food material and other type of substances from blood to tissue and from tissue to blood and some another function of lymph that is lymph carries digested and absorbed fat from intestine and drains excess fluid from extracellular space back into the blood and lymph keeps the body cell moist means it is responsible to moist 
the body cell because it is like a moisture for the cell body now next is the tube blood vessel blood vessel is a tube like structure present inside the body and blood vessel is responsible for transportation of blood from one body part to other body parts because in our body closed type of circulatory system is present in case of blood vessel it is responsible for the transportation of blood that is the oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood because there are two types of blood are conducted in our body through the blood vessel that is oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood our blood vessel consists of arteries and veins but their functions are different because arteries carry oxygenated blood arteries carry oxygenated blood from heart from heart to body parts except then pulmonary artery because pulmonary artery carry pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood from heart to lungs so oxygenated blood is conducted through arteries arteries are thick and elastic it is more thick and elastic than veins because the water the blood flow into arteries with a pressure because heart is like a pumping organ and it directly pump blood into the arteries so arteries is thicker and more elastic than veins it conduct oxygenated blood from heart to body parts and except then pulmonary artery means all the arteries carry oxygenated blood except then pulmonary artery this is very important and in case of veins veins conducted deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood the color of deoxygenated blood is dark than oxygenated blood oxygenated blood light in color while deoxygenated blood are in dark so this is the main comparison between the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood so all the veins carry deoxygenated blood from body parts to heart except then except then pulmonary veins except then pulmonary veins because pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood carry oxygenated blood from lungs to heart so except then pulmonary veins all the veins carry only deoxygenated blood and except then pulmonary artery all the artery carry oxygenated blood artery and veins divides into arterioles and venules arteries divide into arterioles in our body while veins divides into venules and both are further divided in divide into thin wall both are for the both are means that is arterioles and venules further divide into thin wall that is capillaries so capillaries are responsible for transportation of blood into muscles and tissues so arteries and bones uh, veins both are formed blood vessel artery divide into arterioles veins divide into venules and both are further divide into thin wall capillaries so in our circulatory system blood lymph blood vessel and heart that is a pumping organ are involved and responsible for transportation of blood so in my next video we will discuss about circulatory pathway and about heart